My name is Dr. J.K. Jamil. I'm a senior consultant in the Department of Surgical Gastroenterology and Minimal Access Surgery at Apollo Hospitals in Greens Road. As far as treatment for hernia is concerned, there are no medications that can be given to treat a hernia. Um, the, the, the treatment of hernia is, uh, is only surgical. Um, it could be either an open surgical procedure or a laparoscopic surgical procedure. Again, the choice of the procedure will be uh, decided by your surgeon after uh, a discussion with yourself. Um, uh, lots of factors are taken into consideration when the decision is made. Factors such as age of the patient, uh, fitness level of the patient, size of the hernia, location of the hernia, and of course, the expertise of the surgeon and the availability uh, and, the, and the infrastructure of the hospital. Um, up until the uh, mid 80s, uh, late 80s, Open surgery was done um, by simply suturing and, uh, and closing the defect, which actually caused the problem. Uh, and, um, and patients had a lot of pain uh, because of this procedure. And the recurrence rate was also quite high. Um, in the late 80s, uh, mesh repair of hernias became quite popular. Uh, basically, what it means is a plastic material, we call it as mesh, is placed uh, over the defect and, uh, and it is firmly secured in that area. Uh, as a result of this, the recurrence rates have gone down quite significantly. Not only that, the amount of pain that the patient experienced after this operation was also uh, quite low because this is regarded as a tension-free repair. So the sutures, the, the, the tissues are not really pulled and stitched together. Rather, the mesh is placed on top of the tissues. And so the amount of tension that is in that area is reduced and therefore the pain is also less. Earlier procedures uh, were, were uh, uh, causing a lot of pain because of the severe amount of, uh, increased amount of tension that were exerted on the tissues. Um, a few years later, another innovation came up in the field of hernia surgery, and that's laparoscopic hernia surgery. Uh, and now that's become extremely popular, um, largely because the amount of pain that the patient experiences after this procedure is even lower. And uh, the, the infection rates are also quite low. Having said that, the recurrence rate for both laparoscopic surgery and uh, uh, open surgery, if done in, in expert centers, uh, inexperienced hands is, is similar. And as we speak, the recurrence rate is uh, um, uh, somewhere uh, around 0.5 to 1%. The advantages of laparoscopic surgery are that uh, the uh, patient is able to get up and walk uh, soon after surgery. The, the pain levels are low and therefore they can get back to their normal activities. They can get back to work early and the overall uh, experience is quite good. Uh, there are a number of types of laparoscopic surgery. As we, uh, as we get better in uh, surgical technology and as we get experienced in the field of laparoscopic surgery, there are more and more innovations coming up, all for the benefit of the patients. In summary, um, I would like to say that uh, hernia is such a common condition. It can cause symptoms. It can affect uh, everyone. It can affect men, women. It can affect... Uh, uh, people of all age groups and if you develop problems related to hernia it's quite important that you seek uh, expert help and advice uh, because uh, in this day and age there are excellent treatment modalities available uh, for hernias.